Today we're going to talk about operating our E23 transmission in custom mode. So as you can see on this transmission module on our run page, at the very bottom you can see our transmission is in custom mode. So if we go into our transmission module by clicking our transmission button on this shortcut bar, we can see again that our transmission is in custom mode. And this custom mode is going to operate fairly similar to our full auto mode. The transmission is automatically going to adjust its gear selection and its throttle to maintain a set ground speed. Now what custom mode allows you to do is also select your minimum engine RPM. So it does that through the use of our eco mode right here. So this button will turn our eco mode on and off and these two selections down here tell us our minimum engine RPM if our eco mode is on or if our eco mode is off. So right now we can see our eco mode is off and our eco mode off minimum engine RPM is 2100. So to change that we'll just select that 2100 and adjust it to whatever engine RPM we want it to be. And then we can hit our X and that'll be saved in there. To select or change our eco on minimum engine RPM we can't just select it, we have to make sure our eco mode is turned on, signified by this orange light, and then we can change it to the engine RPM we prefer. Now like I said, this button right here on our transmission module page is, allows us to turn on and off eco mode, which also is signified by this orange LED. Another way to turn on and off eco mode is on the side of our throttle here where our eco mode is on, signified by the orange LED, or is off, signified by no LED. We can also look back on our run page, so if we exit out of our transmission module, we can see we're in custom mode, and the orange LED to the left of custom mode signifies that our eco mode is on, and if it's gray, signifies our eco mode is off. We'll also take into account our other buttons on our throttle here, the one right in front of our eco mode is our maximum engine RPM. So if there is a reason why we would want to limit our engine RPM in field, we can go ahead and select this button. Again, signified by a lit up orange LED and turned off, signified by no orange LED. We can adjust that and set that on our screen here with a maximum engine speed module on our run page. We can select that 2150 use our scroll wheel here to adjust up and down. We can also use this soft key to turn on and off our max engine speed, again recognized by the lit up orange LED and turned off with the gray LED. So going back into our transmission, we'll go through the rest of the settings that our custom mode allows us to do. So if we select our custom settings underneath our eco mode, we have another custom settings module our first two selections here, these are both 20%. This is our acceptable engine droop. What that means is how low or how much slower our engine RPM can get under load before the engine downshifts a, a gear to bring those engine RPMs back up. So as you can see with our PTO engage or our PTO on, our engine RPM can slow by 20% before our engine is going to downshift in order to get a higher engine RPM and more power. And with our PTO off, it's going to do the same thing. It's gonna allow our engine RPM to drop by 20% before it downshifts and supplies more power. Our next section here is load anticipation. What that means is with all three buttons checked on, it means that when our PTO is engaged, our engine RPM will raise anticipating a load being brought upon the engine because the PTO was turned on. Our next button is our rear hitch. So anytime our rear hitch is engaged, either raised or lowered, depending on our implement, that load will be anticipated and our engine RPMs will adjust accordingly. And our last button here is our SCVs. So anytime one of our SCVs are engaged, it's gonna anticipate that load and raise our engine RPMs to supply enough power for the operation that we're performing. Custom mode in an E23 transmission 
acts the same as a full auto mode in operation. We can select our two set speeds using our set speed buttons here and they will be signified by the box around our set speeds here. We can adjust those set speeds using our adjustment knob to increase or decrease our set speeds. It's also signified on our corner post with the auto mode selection and a one for set speed one and a number two for set speed two. Now again, to adjust those set speeds, we're gonna use our scroll wheel. And if we want to increase or decrease speed that isn't a set speed, we'll use our gear selection lever to increase or decrease the ground speed we want. So as you can see, as I shift up or use that gear selection lever to increase our speed, it's gonna increase our speed. And as I shift down or use our gear selection lever to decrease our speed, it's gonna decrease our speed in steps. Now, if I want finer adjustments, I can again use that set speed adjustment knob to go up by two tenths of a mile per hour, or again, use that gear selection lever to do a bigger jump of two or more miles per hour. 